Hi, today I've decided to talk about wind power as an energy source. So let's begin. How it works. Wind is formed from the distribution of unequally heated regions of the Earth's atmosphere, with hot air expanding and rising upwards, while cold air falls and condenses. This results in a flow of air and the formation of wind. Whoosh. Wind turbines are used as an energy source to generate electricity using propellers with blades that are pushed individually by the force of the wind. The kinetic energy created from this movement is then converted into electricity, like this one for example in this faithful recreation. Advantages. There are none. Fine, I'll do this properly. Wind turbines are both renewable and sustainable, with relatively low build and maintenance costs which continue to decrease every year, with a 66% cost reduction since 2009, and a further predicted 50% by 2030 according to NREL. So the return on investment is high! After the infrastructure has been accounted for, wind turbines can be sustained for long periods of time. By comparison, Non-renewable energy sources such as coal plants require a constant input of coal which is in limited supply and requires greater transportation costs. Heh, <laughs> got you. The kinetic energy of the wind's force is also clean which means there is no fracking, drilling, mining or burning of resources that will harm the environment to allow electricity to be produced. This also further reduces the costs in choosing a wind turbine solution and which in turn can be used to finance other turbines and provide more electrical power for our needs. The wind power industry is also constantly evolving and becoming more sustainable year by year. Companies such as NextEra, the leading owner of wind capacity in the US, has predicted an astonishing decrease in wind power costs post-2020 ranging from $20 per megawatt to $30 per megawatt. A low carbon footprint also means a much smaller contribution to enhance global warming and climate change. This is helped by wind power taking up 11.6% of the EU's electricity demand and reduces countrywide contributions to enhance global warming. Ha! Too bad you're not in the EU anymore. Shut up! The wind power industry has also grown dramatically on a global scale and has opened many job opportunities ranging from mechanical engineers to senior finance managers. Honestly, at this rate, I don't think there could be anything wrong with wind power. Ah. Advantages. Okay, okay, fine. Let's get the elephant out of the room. Birds. We all know wind turbines are infamous for culling birds, but I'm sure it can't be that bad. 573,000 per year in the USA alone? And wind turbine blades can go up to 179 miles an hour. Good riddance. But in all seriousness, I might have underestimated how deadly they are. However, newer designs of wind turbines, such as those found without lattice frames and have vertical axis rotors, have reduced the death rate worldwide, and so far has worked in places such as Altamont. In the US, where bird death rates from wind turbines have been reduced by 50%, wind turbines can pose an equally deadly threat to photographers too. Visual pollution. While being more opinionated than my previous point, many consider wind turbines to ruin landscapes and scenery, though there's a growing tolerance in younger generations. They also create a lot of noise pollution. As a result, those who work or live near them can obtain headaches and migraines, which could be a risk to health. On top of this, noise pollution can decrease the value of land, which can have both short-term and long-term repercussions for residents living in the area. And then there is the question, what if there is no wind? Good question. There is a large degree of flexibility when determining where to place wind turbines. However, there are obviously some restrictions. For example, it is generally a bad idea to put wind turbines next to residential and industrial estates slash buildings since, as mentioned before, it can both affect the health of workers and residents, which is accompanied by a reduction in land value, while also affecting natural habitats and decreasing the reputation of the area. Also, placing them in caves doesn't really work. Referring to what I said before about the threat of wind turbines to birds, and to answer the question about the issues of the lack of wind in certain areas, there are also sea turbines which use a tidal power as an alternative to wind turbines. 
These are propelled by the tides of the ocean, and since water is 750 times denser than air, they are far more efficient and can last anywhere from 75 to 100 years. However, these do pose a danger to marine life, but lays off some of the dangers for the birds. Turbines can also be used above the ocean by coasts, which are out of the way of most bird flight paths and underwater sea life, whilst benefiting from the strong winds coastal areas are known for. Last let- Thank you. Lastly, placing wind turbines on more mountainous and hilly regions have the added benefit from stronger winds whilst being out of the way of most residential areas. Low-lying flatland can also bring similar results while also allowing rich landowners and farmers no. to cash in on the growing industry and can serve the purpose of an alternative revenue source. So I hope that was informative and you now know. Sorry! Now know more about wind energy. Goodbye!